Good morning, Brittany. How are you? Hi. Good morning, Anne. I'm fine. How are you? Just, I just love this show so much, and I'm so happy to talk about it. There's really nothing else that comes close to it on TV these days. And I think maybe that's the analogness of it all. You know, music made by human hands and voices and appreciation of, of uh, earlier music. Uh, it's so original. I mean, it's thrilling. Comment on that, if you would. Oh, yeah, for sure. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be a part of this project. And I think that it's got a very close like strong, strong-willed, uh, soulful vibe to the show. And there's a lot of characters that people can connect to. And I'm super excited because I know that Sarah Bareilles, her music touches so many. And the character that I play, Best King, um, gets to sing those songs interpreted as her own on the show. So I, I, I think that that's a great uh, way to put it. Thanks, Anne. <laughs> well, uh, deeply felt. Now, Beth is a natural caregiver. She looks after everyone. Um, and uh, But at, at, at one point later in the series, she becomes discouraged. And, you know, but the idea of looking after each other, no matter if you get discouraged or not, especially now, I think it's so important. I think she, she does a great thing. Uh, she's a role model in my estimation. Oh, wow. You know, I think... The, the one thing I love about Bess along the journey of her finding her, her little voice and, and having the courage to, you know, share her music uh, with anyone throughout the, throughout the show, she is someone that really does care deeply for the people around her and is an advocate for their authentic self. And I hope that when the audience watches it, I hope that they feel uh, maybe that they can connect to a character on the show or maybe can um, identify with the journey of, you know, finding your authentic self and feeling brave enough to be that because I think it's, it's a, it can be really difficult and, and not a lot of, I guess we don't give ourselves enough credit for being authentic to who we are. Yes, and, yes, indeed. And I really also appreciate on the show the fact that the, the people are, overall respectful and gracious with each other, just mm -hmm. like you tell Louis to be. Uh, you know, there's no mm -hmm. sarcasm or meanness between the characters uh, so, that's so prevalent in shows trying to be edgy, and that's really courageous. Oh, wow. What do you think yeah, about that? Um, I think that um, Jesse Nelson, who um, is one of the, the creators and, and writers of the show, her and I were you know, two peas in a pod, and she's such a great listener, such a, a a beautiful writer, and it was really important for her to have this effortless flow and connection and authenticity that that does exist in the world. You know, there are, you know, more lighthearted themes, you know, in, in um, people's lives, and sometimes the challenges are something as simple as you know, singing on a stage and not feeling discouraged or embarrassed by someone telling you who you should be or what you should be or whether you're good enough. Uh, I think that's a, a theme that a lot of people in their young 20s and maybe, you know, teen years at any age, I think it, it's uh, prevalent. So I think that Jesse did an amazing job of portraying that and, uh, and emphasized uh, kind of the, the, beauty of it without it having that edginess, you know? Yeah, yeah, precisely. And I think that's what makes it just so appealing and heartwarming. I mean, we need that now. I also do, uh, really appreciate the diversity of the cast and the main characters. That's a real step forward. You know, it's, it's bold and it's important. And, you know, uh, people of dif different racial, sexual, uh, ethical, um, all kinds of different phases of of what it is to be alive today. They're all together, and they all make it work, for the most part. I mean, there's, <laughs> there's the incident in the park, but for the most yeah. part, there's no question raised. It just is. It's mm -hmm. just an equal world there. Yeah, it's it's a true reflection of our world today, and there's so much diversity, whether it's age, ethnicity. Um, 
you know, uh, even being in the neurodiverse community and we have, you know, representation right. from uh, the amazing actor Ke Kevin Valdez and many other spectacular actors. Um, and uh, that's something that I think is really important and something that was really important to Sarah and Jesse. And I, I'm really happy um, about the representation on the show. Now, do you know why J.J. Abrams was drawn to this? Because it doesn't really seem to be in his wheelhouse. Um, Having you dealt know, with so many I, superheroes and whatnot. Right. I think that, uh, you know, J.J. Abrams had a wonderful show, uh, Felicity. Okay. Uh, and I think that this show kind of goes more towards towards that feel. Um, and I think they, I, I know this story where Sarah and J.J. Abrams met at a party and he asked her, have you ever thought about making a, a television show about your life and, and, and your experience being a singer songwriter? And I think that he probably felt, you know, so moved by Sarah, like many of us do. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, for sure. And just like the themes of that process, it's loosely based for sure. Like a lot of the, the storylines right. of Bess are not Sarah, but the experiences yeah. I think that she goes Similarity. in her career. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so very much. And good luck with the series. Oh, thank you, Anne.